Hello viewers, welcome back to my technology channel on YouTube, GTech. In this video, I am going to talk about a special kind of relay which is relatively uncommon but has wide applications in electronic circuit. So it is referred to as a bistable relay. So as you can see here, there are a few relays over here. So relays come in different sizes, different form factors. So they come in different switching voltages. So they come with switches with uh, say different again with different voltage and uh, current rating. So they come with single pole, double pole, or say more than two poles. So they also come with single throw and double throw. So relays may also have more than one switch. So even that possibility is there. So usually commonly available relays uh, that is the ones which are regularly available in the market. So they are referred to as monostable relays. Monostable relays. In the sense Every relay, every monostable relay will have a particular switching position. The switch will be in a particular state where it is not energized. As soon as you apply voltage to it, that is if you energize the relay, it switches to a different state. And it remains in that state as long as the relay is energized. So once you, remade, uh, once you remove the voltage across the relay, so the switch once again comes back to its original position. So that is the usual working of a normal relay. So now the relay that we are going to talk about is referred to as a bistable relay and this relay is different from the regular monostable relay in several ways. First and foremost important point is as soon as you apply voltage or as soon as you energize this so its state changes from a particular state to a different state. So now when you remove the power, power from the uh, relay. So even in that case it still retains the uh, switching position. So it still retains the status. So I will just explain this on the whiteboard. So let's go. So here you can see the um, I have a diagram here so these are the pins of the relay. I am talking about a bistable relay. So I have taken uh, the example of a particular model by the name RT314F12. RT314F12 is the uh, relay uh, that I am taking here. So here are the switches. It's a double pole double throw switch here double pole double throw switch that I have here in this relay and then for switching I have three terminals here so let's assume that this is the ground or say the negative terminal so this is positive this is positive So now, if I energize the relay through these terminals, so the relay switches from, let us say uh, it is in this position, so it will switch to this position as soon as I energize this, it, it goes to this position and once 
and even if I remove the voltage subsequently, it stays in this position. So now let us say I want to change the switch from this position to from this position back to this position. Now instead of applying a voltage here, I am going to apply voltage between these two terminals. So if I volt if I apply voltage here, now from this switching position, from this switching position, the uh, it, it moves to this switching position here. If I have, so once it is switched, even if I remove the power supply, the re, uh, the the what do you call the relay retains that state. So that is the beauty of this relay. So this particular relay is a 12 volt uh, relay. So when it comes to switch, I think it can uh, take up to uh, 10 amperes at 230 volts. So uh, this is how a bistable relay works. So I will tell you about some uh, advantages and applications with respect to these relays. So let's come back. So to talk about a few applications and uses of these relays. So here I have an example, the same relay that I showed you on the whiteboard. So uh, first of all, these relays can be used in uh, Say circuit designs where uh, what do you call so you um, energy conversion energy conservation is utmost important so that is first important aspect so these relays can be used where uh, uh, probably um, applications where uh, what do you call vibrations are high so the circuit also what do you call undergoes a little bit of shock and other things so in such cases so these relays are very very um, what do you call very effective so uh, next important point is why these relays are uh, what do you call energy efficient is that uh, by just giving it a small uh, by just energizing it by a small impulse so you can switch it from one state to another. So subsequently, without um, even if the power supply fails or if you remove the power supply, it still retains that state. So there is no loss of information in that state even if the power supply fails or even if you switch off the power supply. So that is one very important advantage. So. Uh, first of all, uh, the other thing is like it needs a low nominal voltage to switch from one state to another. So even in that way it is efficient. So I think uh, mm, this has wide applications if you want to use, uh, especially in digital electronics, in robotics, in power systems. So I hope uh, more people get um, become aware about this and start using these in their prototypes and their designs. So it will conserve a lot of energy and save a lot of energy. So I use, uh, okay, uh, one application where I used this was actually I, I designed a, a low voltage cutoff for my battery bank, a custom low voltage cutoff for my battery bank where uh, as soon as the battery voltage reached a particular voltage, so I generated a pulse and that pulse switch it off or, or say change the state of the relay this relay to off position so because of which the output was cut off in this way uh, I was able to save the battery from full drainage so that is one application where I used this relay so thank you I hope you like this video